What's up gamers? Welcome back to Dr. Doom Games. I'm Dr. Doom and in today's video we are going to be ranking all armor, weapons, and artifacts in a tier list that you can acquire from default mode. To start off, we will start off with melee. And do note this is all my opinion. This is what I think is the best, this is what I enjoy, like these are the different types of weapons that I enjoy playing with and this is how I would rank them. So first off, melee. The Great Hammer. It has great splash. It slams to the ground and has quite good damage. Now this is more late game Fiery Forge type late game. So this is acquired later on once you're almost finished with default mode. The Axe, number two, is kind of similar to the Great Hammer in that it spins and does good crowd control. It does good damage and is acquired earlier on and more like soggy swamps type uh, early on. Number two, number three is the sword. It does good damage as well um, and it also does a lot of crowd control, a lot of slashing, slaying type deal. Number four is the claymore. Um, also very powerful weapon um, although it does more of like a slash, slash and then stomp so it is pretty good um, it is a little slower though, so that's why it's in the number four slot. It does also a lot of powerful pushback. So, uh, number five is the glaive. Um, all three attacks are very fast, and the last one does a lot more damage. It, you know, has a little more force to it, um, but it has a decent pause between the attacks. It's quite noticeable. Number six is the mace. Uh, medium attack speed and the third kind of slash kind of slams onto the ground and does more damage than the rest and it also has a longer cooldown after the third attack number seven the sickles does medium damage as well but has um constant you know slash slay kind of constantly moving there's no pause so that is pretty good but it does do a little low damage, so that's why it's in number seven. Number six, daggers, same kind of aspect as the sickles, but does less damage. Quite a decent amount of less damage. Um, number nine, the true seeker. Not my type of weapon. Um, it would be better if you're doing soul build, um, but it thrusts, so it goes forward. It kind of stabs. Um, it has quite good long range, but it's not that crowd control that I enjoy. Soul Knife, very similar to the Truth Seeker, but it's just chopped in half. Same kind of aspect, thrust into people, thrusts into the mobs, um, soul gathering, but it's just shorter. Oh, do keep in mind, this is a unique, so you might have it, you might not. You might just be left with the Soul Knife. Number 11, the Cutlass. Medium trash slash trash damage um, has a, it does have a combo but it is quite slow in getting to that combo and it is short range last on my list is the pickaxe it does decent damage but it doesn't have any sort of crown control and it doesn't have any sort of reach it just pickaxes the ground in front of you whatever mobs there does damage it's not really the best type of weapon so that's why it's, you know, in the bottom of the list. Next, we're going to move on to ranged weapons. Keep in mind, this is the Scardian Bow, which is in my number one slot. is a unique, and it's in there because of the rolls and the damage and the extra ability that it has. So we can, you know, kick that off to the side because most people might be lucky, might not be lucky. Some might. You never know. Um, so we'll say that's an invisible number one, number zero. So number one is the heavy crossbow. 164 range damage, powerful shots, and you don't have to re you don't have to pull back the string to get those powerful shots. You just press the button and it shoots right away and does that damage instantly without having to take time and pulling the bow back and pulling the trigger and shooting. It just shoots. Pull the trigger and boom, 164 damage right off the bat. 
and it has quite a fast fire rate. I mean, fast as in, you know, what it is you'd expected. Um, next, number second, number two slot would be the bow. 83 to 209 damage. Keep in mind, this is my 44 level. Um, but it is pretty good because it has pretty good fire rate if you're not trying to pull back that bow. But it does do quite a bit of damage if you pull back that bow. It is quite similar to this bow, the guardian bow that I have, except I'm using this one because, like I said, the perks and stuff are a lot better. So that would I would probably use one of these two if I wasn't using the guardian bow. Number three is a scattershot bow. This is good for crowd control, like I was saying, my type of thing. Um, but it does... Um, it is good for crowd control, but it, you know... Those three arrows that go off do good for crowd control, but if you're going for one dude, it's not that good. Um, it would be good for like redstone mines where there's a lot of spawners, or if you're going to... Yeah. Um, number four would be... Oh, wait. <laughs> I already did that one. Get out of here, bro. Um, number four would be the longbow. Uh, I did, I think, recycle my other longbow that did quite a bit of damage, um, not knowing I was going to make this video, or not remembering. Um, so it's only level one, but ignore that. It has a good strong attack, and it is a lot long range. It is long range. Pretty good fire rate, I would say. It just does less damage than the bow. Power bow. Same as the long range, just... That's damage. That's not right. <laughs> Power bow honestly should be in front of the bow. That is my bad, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, let's just pretend that we didn't... Okay, so... Let's just forget that ever happened. <laughs> and let's just... Uh, I just messed it all up. Whatever, you get the picture. I will have a document, a doc in the description that I used for, there you go, for ranking all these weapons. I give the damage, what it's like, and where you can find it. So check that out in the description. That'll help fix all this mess. But after the power bow, which is pretty good, um, I think it just has a little slower fire rate. It does have great damage is the hunting bow. It has mediumish damage, but it does the same kind of thing that the bow does. So, yeah. Soul bow, good for soul farm like if you're trying to do a soul build. Kind of okay damage, not what I would pick, um, but it is good for soul builds and it's better than these other cruddy bows that I'm about to talk about. So number 9, number 8, number 7, sorry, cuz we got two bows. So number 7 slot, short bow. Crud damage, trash damage, super fast fire rate, so it's a waste of ammo. Same with the purple storm, it's a unique, it's basically a short bow. So we can just get that out of there. So then we have the twin bow. Who would want to shoot two enemies when one's behind a wall and one's right in front of you? Just a waste of arrows. No, I wouldn't, I mean like no one uses it. And I mean, it is a unique, so you might not get it. Um, but it's just trash, so be thankful that you don't get it if you don't. Butterfly crossbow, another unique, but it is very, very similar, if not even identical, to the rapid bow, the rapid crossbow. Uh, it just has that extra shoots to enemies at once, which is, again, trash. But the butterfly bow or the rapid crossbow, similar kind of concept, they just shoot so fast. It's like a waste of bullets. It uses 10 bullets to kill one enemy, instead of using say the heavy crossbow that does one arrow that does the same damage just doesn't it doesn't logically make sense so that's at the very tippy bottom of my uh, my list next let's move on to armor so armor uh, number one on my list or number zero just in case just like my bow Renegade armor, it has great melee attack speed and you can see damage reduction and weapage damage boost and then these great perks so that's why it's at my number zero slot kind of thing. Um, so number one slot for people who don't get this unique would be the mercenary armor. It has good great damage reduction so you can kind of plow through and 
take more hits, um, doing less damage, and then 20% damage boost. So while you're taking that damage, you can give out extra damage um, and take those enemies down. Number two, the evocation robe. It is great for running through maps if you're trying to farm out a certain artifact, if you're trying to um, just go anywhere and get there very quickly because it has 25 reduced artifact percent. Whoa, whoa. Minus 25% artifact cooldown and plus 15 movement speed. So that's your speed demon. You're basically Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, like, why didn't they just put Sonic the Hedgehog's face there? It's blue, it's fast. I don't know. That's developers. Um, number three would be the reinforced male 35% damage reduction, 30% damage to negate hits. This would honestly be in my number two slot if it didn't have that 100%. Um, longer roll cooldown which kind of is a bummer you know because if you need to bounce out and get bounce out of the witch potion or um, dodge like an arrow that's coming towards you multiple times really quickly you're not gonna be able to do that number four soul robe this is good if you're doing a soul build like I was saying for the other weapons 100% um, souls gathered and 50 plus artifact damage this one in my opinion is better in the number five slot the grim armor because i mean same soul gathering capabilities but oh, i don't want to equip it what the heck um but are you serious it's gonna mess up my whole thing i was just doing you suck <laughs> you stink okay whatever number five number <laughs> number five slot grim armor like i was saying same soul capability but it steals life i rather bust through enemies and get them down as fast as possible than have to sit there and just generate, get more health and do less damage. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know why anyone would want to do that. My opinion though. Um, next six, number six would be the thief armor. 25% melee attack speed, so if you're trying to just, you know, slash those enemies, um, that's pretty much it. Although it does say light, nimble, and smells faintly like sulfur whenever that was made but that's pretty much it for this weapon um, scale armor I mean it is pretty good but you don't really see this weapon this armor being you like I don't know it just isn't that good um, there it's not that much health like compared to other armors and I don't know you don't really you can't really acquire it more later game um, but I mean, I guess. I guess it could be up there, but it's just not for me. It's Blanc Armor. Pretty good in the beginning of the game. Not that great later on. Does give you a pet bat and weapon damage boost, um, but more for beginners. Wolf Armor. This is going to be great if you are doing like a squad game or if you're playing with three people, two people, because it, the health potions heal nearby enemies, so not just yourself. Um, in my case, I play by myself, so not that helpful, and it only gives 20% weapon damage boost, so not as good as my other armors. And then on the bottom of the list, Hunter's Armor. If you were just running bow, this would be helpful, but I don't run just bow, so I don't. This is bottom of the list, but if you are, it does 10 extra arrows per bundle um, and 30% range damage, so pretty good, um, but not in my case. Next, next category, last category, we have artifacts. Now, I do not have the, I do not have the death cap mushroom, um, sadly, because I looked into it and it actually does great, it greatly increases your attack speed and movement speed. So this would be at my number one slot, um, I'm pretty sure, like for sure. Sad I don't have it, but I tried grinding out a few missions and I didn't actually get it. I was kind of crunched on time, so I couldn't, you know, redo the mission and spend a bunch of time on it. Um, so that would be at my number one slot if I was editing my dock. But I don't have it, so it's not. Um, so Harvester has to be number one, uh, number two, I guess. Because um, it takes in souls and it creates this huge blast radius around you. So if you have a ton of mobs crowding around you attacking you you can just use it and it just it demolishes them in one shot um, it has one second cooldown so if you have to do two blasts 
I would only do that if you have a full bar of souls because then the radius reduces, but it's very good for crowd control. Number two, or number three, is the boost of swift, boots of swiftness. Um, very fast, very good to pair with the vacation robe because the cooldown is already 1.8 seconds. Very fast, or five seconds, sorry. Very fast, and if you get the evocation robe, it's even faster. So it's very good to get um, mobility, and even better when you have like two or three that you can just zoom through the mission and constantly use. Number four, or number three would have to be, whatever you want to call it, I mean, I should say it's number three, is the soul healer. Uses souls, one second cooldown, it's very good. Um, if you're dying quickly and you're you don't have a heal uh, health pot or potion, whatever you want to call it, these days, um, it gives you quite it gives you a lot of health, really instantly after killing mobs. Number three slot. Number four slot would be the iron hide amulet. Gives you 10 second duration of depending on the level, of course. Depending, um, whatever you use it, and it gives you extra major defense um, for a short period of time so if you're being shot by arrows cra like crowded by people trying to fight your way through you can pop it and you'll be you'll take less damage so hopefully increase your chances of surviving totem of regeneration number four slot number five slot i can't count it's really whatever but totem of regeneration this is very good for um the afk farm that i posted a tutorial on because when you there isn't an there's not another at least in default mode another artifact that does this but it puts down a circle of healing so when you're AFK and your armor which um, this armor which has final shout when it uses it, it uses all the artifacts if you saw my tutorial you know what I'm talking about um, uses all the artifacts and keeps you alive and heals you same with these two these are both on the kind of middle tier because good for the afk farm um good for the beginning of the game but i don't find them that useful i more i run more harvester boots of swiftness and um shit what is it either totem of regeneration or a soul healer number seven number eight on the slot is the shock powder it gives it stuns enemies in a raid in a area around you for 4.6 seconds 15 per second cooldown it's good for you know stopping mobs or stopping creepers i mainly use it when i'm going underground and trying to get creepers um because they just do so much damage that i want to just freeze them and take them out as quick as possible number nine slot is the lightning rod it does a lot of damage it is a soul requiring weapon um it shoots a bolt of lightning from the sky and onto like an area around the mob so if any if there's like a bunch of mobs crowd around and you want to hit it i think it only takes up like one fourth or one fifth of your soul bar um so you could spam it but if they're not around any enemies or they walk away before the lightning hits then it's only going to hit that one enemy not exactly worth it in my opinion firework arrow it is good it's probably better late game um i mean yeah it might be better late game i'm not sure i don't really use it right now because i have the harvester it is good for early game though when you don't have that many artifacts it does a lot of damage for crowd control and it's a good way to get crowd control to wipe out those enemies um number 11 is the flaming quiver this one is okay, but I mean, if you're going to charge up your weapon and shoot the enemy and kill it, then the burning effect isn't going to take place. So it's kind of a waste of an artifact slot, in my opinion. And then number 12, we have the Torment Quiver. Requires souls, one second cooldown. And it, ju it fires, so when you use the artifact, it gives you three shots um, that do damage obviously but it's a slow arrow that hits the enemy and just kind of like it's like a wall that just knocks them backwards away from you and it also passes through walls I haven't really found a use for it or a scenario for it 
so I don't really enjoy it that much. Same with the light feather. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to use it for besides like another way to roll for three seconds. Although it does stun the enemies around you. I haven't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. I can just roll out of the way and pop my harvester and they're dead. Um, corruption beacon requires souls kind of trash because you have to have either good aim and you have to have good aim and be on a flat surface for it to really work. It just shoots a laser that does tick damage. I think there's like, I mean, it does dam a lot of damage, but it's hard to aim. It's very sensitive. And if you're only going to hit like three enemies at once, it's not really worth the souls. You could just get the harvester and, you know, blast them away. Yeet them across the room. Corruption Beacon doesn't really do that. Um, second to last on the list, Totem of Shielding. Puts down a shield that just protects you from projectiles. It doesn't protect you from any melee damage. It lasts for six seconds. Cooldown's okay, but it just, it's not, there's not really a scenario you'd use it. I mean, you could use it in, in the Fiery Forge or the high block halls or obsidian pinnacle when you're being like bombarded with arrows but i don't really find a use for it i just run in and like i've been saying using my harvester and slamming them away and then bottom of the list fishing rod like who uses it no i doubt anyone uses this fishing rod it's complete trash it just grabs them pulls them forward you could just roll into them harvester you could just run into them, harvester, or slash. No one uses a fishing rod to pull one, you know, enemy away to do damage. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. It makes me laugh. Um, but that is it for my ranking. I will have, <clears throat> excuse me, the document below in the description of where you can find it, what the perks are, uh, what I kind of think about it. Some of them I have more my thoughts because um, they don't have that great of a description kind of thing. But that'll be in the description below. So you can look into that if you would like. If you missed something in the video or you forgot, uh, you could just rewind. But that'll show you the location as well. All right, I'm going to wrap the video up right there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button. But not too hard because I did and I broke my phone. So <laughs> don't do that. Don't be like me. Um, but subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more videos. And hit that notification bell to stay even tuner. For more tutorials and videos that I post. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.